Hello everyone and welcome to my Hackathon Daily Updates. It's a Tuesday and I'm very happy you're spending time with us today to get the latest insights and interviews of, on my Hackathon. Everything by experts, coaches, mentors and even the my Hackathon team. So today we're joined by a very special guest. He is no other than Arif Tukiman, who is the co-founder and CEO of RunCloud. He has a very extensive experience, not only in uh, the startup world, but also uh, making a name on uh, for Malaysia because he has been on a Forbes list. I think I can, he can introduce a li- himself a little bit more later. But to share, just for uh, to, to uh, get you... Uh, let you know how he is he has achieved and uh, uh, to be on the Forbes list for 30 under 30 ages for enterprise technology 2020 and yes his topic today it will be about the best tools for growing productive uh, productive team i think it's no uh, uh, it's no surprise that he is probably the best person to speak about this because he has almost uh, he has a lot of experience in growing up uh, growing startups up and I think he will share a little bit more about himself hello Arif how are you hello hello how are you hello everyone uh, I hope you're well Facebook live. yeah yeah hello viewers <laughs> thank you Alexandra for the quick introductions yeah yep. yep. so can you tell us a bit a little bit more about yourself all right, um, as you know, my name is Arif Tukiman. My full name is Muhammad Arif bin Tukiman. Uh, I'm from Johor Bahru. Uh, mm. My hometown is from Johor Bahru. But right now, I'm in Putrajaya, uh, stuck in um, uh, PKPB, MCO. Safe. All right, <laughs> so I, uh, I started um, working from home since uh, early October, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost a month. It's already a month. Um, and I'm running basically... Uh, run club since 2017, co founder and CEO. So, all our employees, our staff, our developers are working from home right now. And we have a remote team uh, from Jakarta, Mumbai, and New Mexico. So, oh, wow. and mainly our developers are currently um, uh, based in Cyber Jaya. Mm-hmm. But now we have a, a work from home policy, then every, everyone, I mean, places right now. Mm-hmm. It's a whole different world now for uh, everybody mm-hmm. working. Yeah. So today, yes. your topic is very interesting today. I really like this because I rarely get people who are local to speak about this. What are the best tools for growing a productive team? So may, perhaps you can do your uh, presentation and sharing now. Yeah, sure. Uh, I already shared to you the slides. Maybe you can go through. Uh, just a quick one. I have made a slide in uh, a minute. I've been 10 minutes before we started like. Okay, um, speaking about productivity tool, I think it's very interesting uh, topic that you shared to me. And um, uh, as everyone knows, and every startup already knows, what is productivity tool? Maybe some um, new venture or maybe new startup might doesn't know what is actually productivity tool. Um, in general way, productivity tool is... Um, mean to have i mean it's a tool that helps our daily life so even like we taking a note uh, by using evernote it's a productivity tool anything mm-hmm. tool software any software that helps us so when we talk about startup any tool anything any tool that can help that startup mm-hmm. so even run cloud run cloud is the cloud server management panel and uh, web deployment so we are a Tool. We are a productivity tool that can help developers and businesses to maintain and to manage multiple of cloud providers in a very seamless way. Mm-hmm. So, um, speaking about productivity tool in general way, is a tool, is a software. Mm-hmm. So maybe it can be a license you can install in your uh, machine or your phone, mm-hmm. or it can be accessible on web, which is software as a service that mm-hmm. can you can subscribe. And you can cancel anytime and anywhere that you want. All right. Mm-hmm. So um, I think yeah, that is uh, basically a part- uh, productivity tool. And when we uh, when you talk about um, how this tool can help a startup, uh, is um, a startup need to be define uh, the needs. Mm-hmm. And basically, startup is very agile. 
So you cannot waste your time to understand the tool, but you need to uh, optimize. You need to have a very, um, you need to be a quick learner for specific tool. And maybe for for tools that you are very new on it, you need to get a uh, few recommendations from others. Maybe okay. from mm -hmm. other um, uh, successful startup or maybe from other entrepreneur that maybe asking them uh, what what kind of tool that um, you 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 develop uh, for certain thing or what kind of tool that can uh, uh, develop your team uh, to be more productive. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I think I think um, startup need to be very clear what is the need and then the tool is can be um, I think it can be accessible and it. Uh, very easy to reach. Mm -hmm. So uh, later on, maybe I can share what is the tool that used by uh, Runcrowd. Even me, personal, as a co-founder and CEO in Runcrowd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. maybe uh, I'll go to the next slide, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can just the next slide. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that the slide is being controlled by you. All right. So this is me. All right. Viewers, this is me. Uh, uh, Arif Tukiman, maybe you can follow my Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Uh, next slide. What is productivity tool? Okay, what is productivity tool? Maybe you can, um, I mean, uh, comment. <laughs> maybe you can comment what is your uh, yeah, uh, understanding. All right. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. is your understanding about uh, productivity tool? Okay. So, Rangka use uh, AppSumo. Okay. What is mm -hmm. AppSumo? AppSumo mm -hmm. is, is actually not a productivity tool. So, AppSumo is the platform uh for startup maybe for beginners or maybe for anyone that wanted to get a lifetime deal of many as productivity tools mm -hmm. so most okay. of the tools that we use in rank Club, we get the lifetime deal in epsomo oh that's amazing right? wow so all right so next slide okay i think everyone knows about this slide uh mm -hmm. Rangka used mainly uh, mm -hmm. during our working hours. Um, we will use Slack out as our main channel. Even mm -hmm. uh, we, I mean, we communicate with our partners with the party uh, via the Slack. So we mm -hmm. invite uh, to the link, then uh, we talk um, communicate to the Slack. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have many channels and developers and all. So I think this is quite a step forward. All right. Next, I think uh, I talk. Uh, for communication tool first, Slack. Mm -hmm. So another okay, tool okay. that we use aside uh, Slack is Telegram. Mm, so okay. we also heavily use Telegram as our quick communication with our developers mainly, mm -hmm. developers and support team. So mm -hmm. anything will goes to that um, uh, communication channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, this is Infinity, Start Infinity. Uh, maybe you can uh, go to startinfinity.com. Okay, mm -hmm. this the, the domain is in startinfinity.com. Mm -hmm. Infinity is um, uh, organization, I mean, uh, like project management tool oh, for okay. our developers, for our operations, and few other um, departments. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So this tool we got lifetime deal from Absumo. All right. So you can imagine we paid. I I'm not. I forget. Uh, I think around. Fifty-nine dollars. Mm. We paid to this tool for less than this. Oh, okay, so startup, startup need to be smart. You can save a lot of cost. Uh, cost. You can save a lot of cost by using. Uh, I mean, by uh, having uh, a lot of uh, lifetime deal uh, through Absumo. Okay, mm. there's a lot of deal inside there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay, Telegram. Yep, we are using Telegram. Maybe, maybe a lot of startup. Uh, I am sure that they are also using Telegram as a uh, work communication and mm -hmm. WhatsApp mm -hmm. as a, maybe family and other stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. more specific group for uh, work communication, but WhatsApp. Uh, I think for startup, maybe can be used for uh, partnership and all. But mm -hmm. uh, Telegram is for internet. So. It can be separated uh, uh, communication. Then you can more uh, you can be more focused on this thing. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, next. Oh, this fresh is works. Okay, fresh works. So fresh works is 
uh, we use only for fresh desks. Mm-hmm. So fresh foods basically they they have a lot of they have tons of features and lo- a lot of product under them. Uh, it's like a uh, Google, so you can have a mm. Google Docs, Google Drive, uh, Google Slides, uh, Google Sheets, and all. But Freshworks is uh, something like a tool to help startup. Um, uh, they have like support tool. Uh, mm. They have like project management tool. They have like uh, monitoring tool and all. So th- we only use the Fresh Desk. It's the. Mm. Uh, I-, I think it's just like. Uh, uh, if you if you all know like Zendesk, a uh, live chat and all, so oh, okay. we we like this um, tool very much for our support team. Uh, I mean, replying the tickets and all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, next. Okay, so I just want to uh, talk about Run Club yeah, a yeah. bit more. So Run Club is a um, um, a cloud server management and web deployment. So mm. developer and business owner. Developers mainly they can save up to ninety percent of the time instead of mm. you configure the cloud servers manually. It can take it can took like one to three hours. Maybe if you are very new into cloud, mm-hmm. it may took a week just to understand, get to know from the YouTube and all. So mm. we save a lot by using Run Cloud. You can save a lot of time, and you can even manage multiple of cloud providers at a single dashboard. Very mm. intuitive and beautiful. All right. So, uh, Run Cloud is also a productivity tool. So, since mm-hmm. our main topic here is um, uh, productivity tool, so I'm sure um, many other in Malaysia that are also developing a productivity tool. Maybe for the business segment, maybe mm-hmm. for um, what uh, developer segment. Uh, so, I think I think uh, we have a few startups in Malaysia that um, do the same thing to mm, develop more productivity tools. Okay. Um, okay, next. <laughs> okay, this is me. <laughs> okay, this is me. So, me and my other two co-founders, uh, we are since in, we are we are together since 20, 2012, I guess. Oh, that's a long study. time. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, still study. But oh. as a business partners since 2014. Oh, wow. So after graduate, after I graduate in 20, mm-hmm. 2014 uh, at UTM Skudai, mm-hmm. so uh, we started our first company, Kulkut, a mm-hmm. software house development company, and then Run Club. So uh, that is uh, quite um, a, a, a bit a story of our uh, um, my partners mm-hmm. and what is uh, what you mean. Okay, um, uh, this is me, uh, Run Club, uh, first. Uh, we started Run Club as a business early 2017, mm-hmm. and then we got offered to uh, uh, exhibit and feature on stage, interview on stage uh, mm. in TechCrunch Berlin in December. Mm. So this is quite, um, I mean, in within a year running a startup, and you got invited by a very well known event like TechCrunch. Mm-hmm. So it's um, it's very impressive. It's, yes. uh, yeah, it's it's. Uh, it's a very good, it was a good uh, experience for us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next. Uh, now, in within three years, uh, we, our users, our users, uh, more than 100 countries, and mainly are from US, UK, and India. Mm-hmm. Uh, those three are our top three countries that uh, run cloud users are. Mm-hmm. Next. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So, U- US, UK, India. Uh, Malaysia is uh, still among top five countries, mm. our customer base. All right, next. Uh, oh, this, this is me. Nice. Maybe you're really nice. <laughs> next. <laughs> this is uh, this year. Okay, this year. All right. Okay, this is um, our community. Mm. Um, Run Club is not only a product, all right? Uh, Run okay. Club is not only a product. Mm-hmm. We start develop our community, our engagement closely with our users mm-hmm. across the globe, across the top cities. Uh, we even already done um, Africa meetup, US meetup, New York, um, Nottingham, Birmingham, mm-hmm. uh, London meetup, uh, Jakarta meetup. Even in Malaysia, we already done um, twice, uh, one Cyber Jaya oh. and twice in Cyber Jaya, both in Cyber Jaya, our meetup. So mm-hmm. our meetup, we partnered with uh, 
non cloud providers like uh, AWS, Google. We are one of the AWS uh, Activate partner, mm-hmm. and we also partner with UpCloud. We partner with Google Cloud Community and all. Mm-hmm. all right. I think I think um, maybe uh, I'm sure that this this is uh, all about Run Cloud, and mm-hmm. maybe you can uh, maybe we can uh, go through with other questions. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth? Okay. okay. So maybe before that, because I'm very impressed mm. by what you've shared, uh, definitely for those of uh, uh, those people entering my hackathon for participants mm-hmm. and also people who are interested to join the future my hackathons might be able to see the scale that you have done in Round Cloud, which is very impressive. I think I can uh, take how you created meetups all around the world so that you create that mm. culture of people using your product. Yes, is that the intention mm. of creating the meetups? Uh, the intention of the meetup is not to set the product. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, um, uh, set a product is can be uh, a second thing. But our main goal is to engage our users to understand, mm-hmm. to get the feedbacks, the real feedbacks face to face, and to reach them to mm-hmm. understand them yes. because we are from Malaysians. Mm-hmm. So when talk about Malaysians, um, uh, Westerners and Europeans, they are quite skeptical when they are using. A product from Asia. Mm-hmm. Sorry to say, <laughs> sorry to say, and this <laughs> is true. And this is true because we have a few users uh, from from outside of Malaysia. Mm-hmm. When they mm-hmm. know that we are from Malaysia, they don't feel uh, confident to subscribe ah, at the first place. Okay. Then after okay. we done a few engagement, we have a global ambassadors. So I, I think within three years, I already uh, I went more than ten countries. So mm-hmm. I invest mm-hmm. a lot of my. Uh, 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 investment uh, to that um, event uh, to join the event and reach that, then I think the the return that we are, what we invest we already um, got in this year. So mm-hmm. three years we invest to travel to meet the community uh, to develop the community, mm-hmm. and then 2020 the engagement is very positive and we know every single community leader. Uh, where we uh, want to reach and mm. it's very easy for us to even uh, think and reach more uh, to our potential customers. So it looks like we have to take mm. note of the productivity <laughs> tools that you use because it seems to have brought you to your destination and everything. Yep. <laughs> so mm-hmm. definitely mm-hmm. Uh, people online and also on Facebook Live do take note of the productivity tools that he has, um, Arif has mentioned just now. It's it's really uh, great. And some of them are even new to me. So thank you so much for sharing that. I guess mm-hmm. uh, it, it would be natural for me to ask, would you say that investing in, a, in this subscription for these productivity tools, is it worth the investment for you? Uh, definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Any tool that can impact to your productivity, any tool that can help uh, to increase your uh, business revenue, uh, mm-hmm. that, can, uh, that can impact to your uh, startup, though, definitely mm-hmm. is worth. So, mm-hmm. but you need to be smart. Okay. How you uh, how to start? So first, you need to uh, uh, get a free tool first and use. Mm, so okay. like uh, management for developers, maybe you can start with Trello. Mm. I think Trello Trello is quite um, it's a free tool. Yeah, I like Trello. Uh, uh, only uh, only a few things that you need to upgrade and pay. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I think Trello is very good for um, for startup to use. Mm-hmm. And to start, maybe you can start with Slack free to communicate with your team. Maybe just use uh, Telegram. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, I think for not taking, I use uh, personal, I use personal uh, mm-hmm. Apple Note, okay, uh, Apple okay. Note taking in iPad and Notion. Mm-hmm. So Notion is also a very uh, good Yeah, Notion is really for, nice. For, for founders, right? Mm-hmm. Notion, notion.so, notion.so, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So on top of that, you, uh, you've shared a lot about this. Like, uh, there is something among startups that we, uh, I've heard a lot saying that they want to go lean. There's the lean methodology where you use or you bootstrap, you save everything. Mm. What do you mm. want to say about people who think that, oh, can we find only free, uh, free versions of this or, or, or everything open source? What's your response to that? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, talking about bootstrap is definitely need. Uh, I think for every startup, for every founder, founders need to be bootstrap. At least, uh, first you need to be a bootstrap of yourself mm-hmm. and 
your team need to understand what in bootstrap is. Okay. And uh, even Rangka, in Rangka, uh, we, uh, we bootstrap uh, uh, team uh, six to eight months. Oh, okay. So we in rolling up all the revenue yeah, in the beginning. Mm-hmm. So the only thing that you need to invest as a founders and uh, is time. All right, mm-hmm. you need to invest pretty much uh, most of the time that you have. Maybe you need to work in the night. Maybe you need to work uh, more than 10 hours a day. But mm-hmm. the thing is, uh, if talking about tool, pick a tool that can optimize your time. Mm-hmm. Um, I think even even me, I I I sometimes rarely use um, a few tools because uh, I love to explore new tools, but mm-hmm. I sometimes rarely to use that tool. Mm-hmm. So um, because I, I think. I think that too. Sometimes we we'll waste our time just to, uh, I mean, the learning curve might be higher. Mm, to and, figure it out. Uh, no? Yeah, yeah. The the <laughs> the productivity the productivity can be disrupt because mm-hmm. you need to learn that too. And uh, in order to achieve that goal, you need to use that too. But you need to learn uh, mm. uh, the tool first. So best is uh, maybe uh, someone that can um, uh, teach you how to use that. But I'm pretty sure most of the tool out there. It's very easy to understand, and the learning curve could be lower. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think that's all uh, about mm-hmm. uh, the two that been used from me uh, and and my team. And that's very good advice, really, about what you say that uh, if you're learning it and it takes too much of your time, then that's not really worth it, isn't it? <laughs> so. I guess my next question is: uh, In picking those tools for your company, do you decide on the tools and then uh, get the your team to use it? Do you and to how do you get them on board in using these tools? Ah, uh, 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 good questions. Good, very good questions. Um, uh, it's also a challenge for us as a founder to picking up a good tool and adapt to our team members. So even um we. Uh, I would say in Run Club, we we keep changing to use other tool uh, mm-hmm. due to uh, I mean due to our requirements. All right, mm. uh, even like support. So we use uh, previously Zendesk to yes, have yes. our uh, support uh, technical support members. Mm-hmm. Then we change to Freshness because there's a few features that um, doesn't have in Zendesk, but uh, mm-hmm. in Freshness a lot of features that fit into our requirements. That's interesting. So, and um, and even like a communication, and it seems we are uh, all remotely work. Yes, uh, now everywhere mm-hmm. now. So, uh, Zoom is our uh, first. I mean, first pick, mm-hmm. and maybe for a quick call. Uh, sometimes I'm use, uh, Webby. Right, Webby mm-hmm. is uh, also a good, um, good for remote call, mm-hmm. and. And uh, I, I think in Run Cloud, we uh, the the challenge is not uh, I would say it's not critical mm-hmm. to you uh, to understand the tool. So mm-hmm. our flow for tool is founders will first explore the tool, okay, and then we pilot with a uh, few members to understand mm-hmm. first, okay, and then there wow. we then we decided either this is good or not. Then founders will decide. Okay. One we pick that tool, then all the members that need to use that tool, we will um, like uh, a quick session. Okay, this is the thing, and this is the SOP in order to use this tool. Even um, let's say we are using Zoom mm-hmm. as our main communication. Um, I mean, uh, our main communication tool. So the the SOP is you need to open the video. All right. Mm, okay, First okay. is you need to open the video. If your webcam are broken, so I can <laughs> I can buy for you. <laughs> it's, okay. it's, it's very important very nice. <laughs> for every developers, for every members in Rangka. If mm-hmm. uh, remote calling or communication through Zoom, you need to open the the video. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, then um, when the SOP, the guide is very clear in using that tool, so everyone can work seamlessly within mm-hmm. the team and can work very professional on that matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very good input from you. Uh, it 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 shows mm. that you also uh, want to know and care about your employees or developers who are working with you. It sometimes it's uh, the humanness between all these devices that's that's important as well. And I I really appreciate that you sharing with us. If data, if your internet data, 
uh, I mean, uh, I mean, finish of limit, uh-huh, then uh-huh. I can uh, top up your yeah. <laughs> limit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the okay. things so that we take for granted these things. So it's oh, yeah. nice to know that you <laughs> care <laughs> and us and us mm-hmm. beforehand. It's very easy to uh, yeah. take for granted that perhaps maybe someone has that problem and they cannot. Uh, be part of the remote working we call it right now right so we do have some questions coming in from facebook live so i do mm. have a question here from ben ong it's very uh, one is about run cloud and I, yeah both is actually about run, uh, for run, run cloud so it, it's a chance for you to 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 explain to people wow. what about your setup so what does run cloud do daily to engage with its multinational community that's the first question and on what basis are your customers charged and how were the productivity tools used to generate sales lead and monetize revenue so these are very 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 serious questions lah <laughs> all right uh, the first question is what does franca do daily to engage and to engage with uh, your multinational, multinational community mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, yep uh, to answer this question we uh, we have our main facebook group users Mm-hmm. Uh, it's only that group that we engage and we communicate with our customers. So mm-hmm. uh, we invite all our existing users to join the group and any inquiries, any engagement and any updates from Run Club, we will share into that group. So mm-hmm. Facebook is free. So <laughs> there is no cost uh, uh, to doing that. But in mm-hmm. future, we already plan uh, for specific region. Uh, we plan to have our own forum. So mm-hmm. maybe in uh, in Asian region, then maybe in European, and then uh, in in US countries, and even uh, we plan to have a multi uh, language support uh, mm-hmm. in Run Club as a product, and also as a, we we plan to appoint a dedicated ambassador uh, for local language. That's so we amazing. plan for localization, uh, global plus local uh, localization. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, in within three years time, and maybe 2022 we start. 2021 is not yet. Maybe 2022 we start to uh, support the multi language. All right. The second question: uh, On what basis are your customers charged, mm-hmm. and how would the productivity tools use to generate sales, lead, and monetize uh, revenue? Oh, mm-hmm. how would the productivity tools use to generate sales, lead? Okay. So when we talk about tools that can generate more lead. All right, uh, tools that can generate more leads. I think uh, most of the time, tool. Um, let's say um, uh, we talk about digital marketing. So mm-hmm. in digital marketing, we have a lot of tools can be used. All right, uh, a hash graph. Um, uh, I mean SEO tool, a lot of SEO tools. So the thing is, um, you you have to invest the tool and you have to understand why see what is the tool can help you to generate leads more leads. So even Facebook. Uh, Facebook itself, they have, they they also have their own tool, all right. Facebook Ads Manager, something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so um, I think I think most of the time um, to uh, to generate more leads and monetize the revenues by using the the ready tool, you have to understand uh, the fundamental and the technical. Even for Facebook, a lot of tool. That's why there's a lot of seminars. There's a lot of like seafoods. Uh, can teach you on how you can generate more leads by using Facebook app, mm-hmm. using this tool, using this technique, using this strategy. So mm-hmm. it depends on the strategy and it depends on your knowledge. So mm-hmm. I think uh, there is no tool that can you put the money and uh, uh, you can grow this. So it's all about the strategy, picking up the right tool, and you ha- you have the knowledge on how to um, use your knowledge to use that tool in order to generate more leads and 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 the business and monetize more revenue. All right. I think I think I hope that uh, it will answer your question. But uh, if you want tools that can generate revenue, maybe you need to invest in. Uh, there's a lot of robo invest. <laughs> uh, that that one is different. <laughs> that one is different. That one is like uh, investment tool or something like that. Ah, uh-huh, okay, okay. There's a tool for everything. We don't need to start everything from scratch. Then then we're living in a era where it's possible to have tools that save your time, save your money, yep. save, save exactly. your energy. Then really happy to hear the scale that you are at. You're already worldwide, basically, and that you you sharing these tools are very generous for our participants up here. So I guess, uh, do you want to continue your slides or do you we, do we go yeah. with the questions? Uh-huh. Yep, okay. Yep. Okay. So I'll well, uh, go to the slide. What's your question? Yeah. So what is your question? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so my my question Sorry. is that uh, can you share some advice to 
participants of hackathons, especially yeah. those who will be attending hackathons for the first time, what would be your advice to them? Because we don't want we we have so many tools, and people who are new might be uh, overwhelmed, or maybe they'll they'll think, oh, where do I start? So, uh, do you have any advice for people who are new to hackathons? Uh, for founders, for any startup that you feel overhand, that you feel uh, messed about anything and you feel scared about maybe COVID-19, how you can survive and mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. So my advice, first, be cool. Just be cool. Because when you cool, mm-hmm. when you put everything calm and then you can decide. So to decide, you need to break down what is the problems, what is the solution, and then you discuss with your partners. Mm-hmm. All right? So uh, I think uh, to 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 share is right on the slide. Okay. Which is success is not a destination. Mm-hmm. Okay. To all startups out there, success is not a destination. I'm saying this is actually, uh, if you feel overwhelmed and you feel that uh, you broke or you fail right now, it's not it's not mean that you fail the entire life. So success is not its destination. Next slide. Success is a journey. All right. Success is the, a journey because you need to have a good uh, knowledge to start. You need to have a good partners. And then you grow the team. Maybe you will have uh, challenges, and then you broke. Maybe your business not going what you already plan. It's a journey. Then you you step up again. You bunk it, okay? It's a journey, mm-hmm. so you need to uh, really understand that uh, success is not destination. If you think about uh, you, if you think the success is a destination, you will stop. You will be mm-hmm. feel satisfied, All right? Let's say you get okay. I I, I plan to have one million revenue in twenty eighteen or twenty twenty. When you achieve that, you satisfied and your energy will be low. So if you think about success is a journey, so you once you get um, uh, achieve whatever you plan on the roadmap, then you will think more. So in order to get that, I think uh, everyone need to think big. So since yeah, yeah. one since day one we I started Run Club with my partners, I already think big. Mm-hmm. Run Club is not only in Malaysian market. I can do. I can be as good as maybe Trello. Maybe mm. like uh, other uh, good productivity tools, Atlas and Jira and all, uh, and and as a uh, a good a global brand. So in within three years, we managed to do that. Just a matter on uh, the growth and other plan that we might um, uh, be taken off in future. Mm. All right, and this is my advice um, to all: work hard but smart, bakat plus usaha. Uh, InsyaAllah, you akan menjadi. Hmm, And you ada bakat, you ada bakat, tapi you tak ada usaha, uh-huh. tak akan berjaya. Saya garanti. <laughs> Sebab mana-mana orang yang berjaya, eh, anyone, any founders and uh-huh. any startup, so I think this is a basic advice. Uh, anyone that have end of a usaha with you punya talent, you eager to learn more, and you have your own uh, self-development attitude, I think insyaallah you will be successful. Insyaallah. Mm. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, work hard but smart. Yeah. Pick a right uh, positivity tool. Work hard and use your tool in in the very uh, in a very smart way. Yeah, that's very good advice. Thank you so much. It's very refreshing coming from someone who is a a, a living successful local person who has made it uh, together with your co-founders of course to, uh, and your team. To make it to that scale, so we're really grateful to have you uh, to share this uh, presentation. So we're going to go for our lightning round questions. So these are very light questions. You can answer it as short as you want. Uh, what's a recent happy moment for you? Something that uh, is a happy moment that happened to you recently? Uh, the happy moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just get married this year. Oh, really? oh congratulations! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a that's a milestone said, to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I maybe I shouldn't share, but oh, I. Oh, it's I a happy moment. That, uh, maybe my wife see this video, so I just get married. So we are very happy together, mm. and of course, uh, been listed in S, uh, Fop twenty twenty. Yes, that's a huge. Uh, so I, I think it's uh, one of the uh, great achievement. It's not only me. It's not. It's not 
uh, for me, uh, the achievement, the Forbes achievement is actually for my family, my close friends, my partners, and the whole team in the club. So because the brand will be impact. Who is the, who is this founder? Oh, yeah, the, yeah. this guy is co-founder and CEO of Run Club. So Run Club. So I bring the Run Club name throughout the world via this achievement. That's amazing. So my next second question would be, what's something that you're thankful for? Uh, thankful? Mm-hmm. Okay, thankful. So uh, when uh, talking about uh, thankful, mm-hmm. bersyukur kepada mm-hmm. Allah, yeah, we yeah. need to have that word every day. Mm. Even right now, Alhamdulillah bersyukur diberikan uh, masa untuk share to uh, to all of you that okay, life uh, right now. <laughs> so I think everything uh, startup need to really understand really need to put in your mind in your mindset uh, in your mindset that uh, everything that you do mesti ada hikmah hmm. maksudnya nice. you gagal you berjaya mesti ada hikmah kenapa you berjaya maybe Allah nak test sama ada uh, hmm. uh, you, adakah you akan menjadi seorang yang sombong adakah hmm. you akan lupa if you gagal adakah you boleh bertahan uh, untuk uh, apa Uh, maksudnya, adakah you have a good, uh, strong mindset mm. that if you gagal, adakah you akan pengembali? Uh, so, mm. I think, I think um, I just want to share this word, uh, line mm. from Surah Al-Inshira. In nama Al-Yusri Yusra, fa'in nama Al-Yusri Yusra. Fa'in nama Al-Yusri Yusra, in nama Al-Yusri Yusra, uh, which is Allah said that um, uh, setiap kesusahan mesti Uh, ada kesenangan ni macam tu. Yes, uh, maksudnya Allah dah cakap if you susah hari ni insya-Allah mm. you akan ada kesenangan atau kejayaan sebab you bersusah, you berusaha untuk mencapai apa yang you nak. Insya-Allah really Allah nice. kan tunaikan. That's really nice. Alright. So I the, the final one is what's your secret to happiness? Uh, secret of happiness mm-hmm. uh, uh, I think uh, Smile, okay. Smile, I, <laughs> okay, okay, I don't know what to say, uh, but uh, one thing, um, always remember about your, uh, about your parents. Mm. Uh, check the maybe you have a family WhatsApp group and all. Then maybe mm-hmm. you can have mm-hmm. a good uh, WhatsApp video call with your mom. Yeah, but then uh, I think, yeah, <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I think that will pretty much help uh, to to refresh, to get a, a refresh on your mood. Mm, that's really right. nice. Yeah, thank you for the reminder. I'm going to do that uh, later on. Okay. Going to do that <laughs> okay. Follow my 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 family. All right. So thank you so much for today, Sharif Arif. Yeah, it's really mm. really wonderful to have you to have for this my hackathon mm. really updates. And uh, we are in CMCO uh, mode at the moment for uh, for Selangor, Putrajaya, and Kuala Lumpur. And hence, uh, for the future, my hackathon uh, cities, for example, for JB, Kuching, Penang, mm. and also uh, there's another city that I can think of right now. I'm so sorry. So for the future cities, we do have new dates that hasn't been um, announced yet, but it will be announced soon. And those of you who aren't on our newsletter yet, you can go to myhackathon.gov.my and you can go mm. to the bottom of the website and, uh, and sign up for our newsletter. So definitely, it's been a pleasure to have you, Arif. Uh, thank yeah. you so much. And that's the end yep. of our My Hackathon. And yep. before I end, I guess I have to, uh, I, I want to say this. Uh, time to di- digitalize. Now we've had all these productivity, productivity tools that Arif has, uh, has shared. Time to di- digitize, um, streamline, simplify, and even disrupt government delivery. So thank you so much, everybody, for your time. Thank you, yep, Arif. Yep. Thank Bye. you again, Alexandra. It's my pleasure to have this uh, session. Yes, All right, thank, thank you so you. much. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Assalamualaikum.